Okay then, we're given the table of data as you see here and these summary statistics about the data and asked to work out the product moment correlation coefficient and the standard letter for that is R and to calculate R we need to work out what is often referred to as SXY all divided by the square root of SXX multiplied by SYY. But the question is, what is SXY, SXX and SYY? Well, we should know these particular results, okay? SXY is, you'll find it in most of the formula books, but I would encourage you to learn it. It is the sum of sigma XY minus sigma X multiplied by sigma Y all divided by n. And when it comes to working out what SXX is and SYY are, it's very easy because for this one all you've got to do is just replace the Y here with an X. So you're going to have sigma XX or sigma X squared. And then for this one, sigma X times another sigma X or sigma X all squared and that's divided by n. So you can see all you need to really do is just remember one of these formulae. And so for SYY similarly it's going to be sigma y squared minus sigma y all squared over n. So we need to work out these particular values. Now you'll notice that we've got sigma xy, sigma x squared, sigma y squared up here already given. But what we haven't got is sigma x and sigma y. We need those. So to get sigma x, all you've got to do then is just add up 65, 71 and so on all the way along this first row. I'll leave you to do that, but if you do do that, you should find you get 773. And for sigma y, if you add up all these y values on this row, you should find you get 724. So that's going to mean that when you substitute these values into this formula, you should find that you get 110.8 for this first one. And for this one, you'll find you get 722.1 and finally for this last one you'll get 704.4 so that should be fairly straightforward and now all you need to do is substitute these values then back into this formula here and so you're going to have SXY then which is going to be 110.8 divided by the square root then of SXX 722.1 multiplied by 704.4 SYY. Okay, now if you work that out, you should realize that R always is a value between minus 1 and 1 inclusive. So expect to get a result something like that, because if you don't, you know you've made an error. Well, it turns out that this value is quite unexpectedly low, 0 0.155357 and so on, okay? So you could round that, say, to two decimal places or whatever accuracy that you want. To two decimal places, that's going to be 0 0.16, okay? So I'll leave it up to you just to go whatever accuracy you think um, suitable. So uh, yeah, there you go. That's our product moment correlation coefficient.